Hey everyone, my name is Joe Scar, and we're going to take a look at Fast Cutter Pro in this version. Um, there will be a Fast Cutter Lite that's going to have a much reduced feature set. Um, both of these are going to be available on Friday, November 24th, 2017. So here I've got some simple test objects. We're going to show some of the features of Fast Cutter Pro. We'll just start with a sphere, just draw our cut through here. Now it's very important with any Boolean that we make sure that the faces of both of the source object and the cutter do not overlap each other. If they do, you will get a bad result, guaranteed. So take a little, take a moment, kind of look at your cutter, look at your source, and see if they, they're a little too much. So in this case, the strength of this noise might be too much. We'll go ahead and reduce that by half, give that a cut, and see what happens. So it does fine. Got our objects there. Let's go ahead and put that back where it came from. And one of the best features about Fast Cutter Pro is the ability to cut mul multiple objects at once. We can select these, we can draw a cut through here like this, and go ahead and say cut it, and it's going to go ahead and cut each of these. Now I've got a script for quick colorization, so we can see that those are all different results. Now one of the things that I want to point out that you, um, let's undo that, one of the things that you have to be careful of when you draw a cutter in Fast Cutter is, and in pretty much any Boolean, is you do not overlap and draw over your own cutter. Um, this is going to result in a bad boolean. Um, bad boolean looks like, you know, yeah, a little bit messy. Yeah, so you see we've got some of these bad edges in here. So not what we want. So do not overlap your cutter when you draw. Pretty simple. Okay. So another great thing about Fast Cutter Pro is auto cut. Once you get some good noise settings that you're working with and you're ready to just cut multiple times, you can just select those objects, hit start, double click, draw your spline, double click again to finish, and it's going to go ahead and automatically cut those. Now we're going to turn on random wire so we can continuously get um, nice colors. Go ahead and draw through here. And you can see that it just goes ahead and draws. So you can spend quite a while. Um, just cutting, focusing on cutting, and not having to be clicking too many buttons. So something else that we've added in the Fast Cutter Pro is something called Layer Isolator. And Layer Isolator is a tool for um, isolating object to certain layer, so that once we are here, we can now go ahead. Let's, yeah, let's leave Auto Cut on. As we cut and work on just this single piece, um, we can. Let's go ahead and isolate that. We can tweak these and keep a very nice clear viewport. And you see it got two cuts in there. Okay, so now these objects, now let's go ahead and let's isolate this one to layer. Looking pretty good. Let's get one more in there. Okay, now that was a bad cut. You can tell by the result. It, um, it ends up kind of with this noisy mess. Let's undo that. Okay, that one's good. All right, so now let's go ahead and restore that to layer. It brings those back to that kind of that level up to those. Let's select all those, restore that layer, take select all these where we started, and restore that to layer. And now we're back to the top. Okay. So something else that we can do with Fast Cutter Pro, which is pretty handy, is the ability to cut. We're going to turn off Auto Cut. We can cut holes using the close function. We go ahead and we start, we double click, we draw our spline, get close to the starting point, double click again, and say yes, close the spline. And what it does is it goes ahead and creates a, an extrusion, basically, or it closes it and then extrudes it. So now we're able to get a nice hole in our objects. Okay. Well, we're going to be doing another video next week for Fast Cutter Free, and we'll see you then.